In today's video, we're going to take a look at the top 10 animals with camouflage abilities. One of the more amazing facts about animals is how so many of them use camouflage to either hide from predators or even hide from potential prey. A well camouflaged animal simply blends into its surroundings, whether it's the ocean floor, the forest floor, or leaves on the bark of a tree. Sometimes animal camouflage is so complete that the animal seems to disappear. Here are 10 examples of animal camouflage that make the animal basically invisible. Number 10. The Walking Stick As their name suggests, these insects of the order Phasmatodea resemble twigs or sticks, and some species that live in the tropics resemble leaves. They are found everywhere on Earth from Patagonia and Antarctica. When they stop moving, as they do when they sense a predator nearby, they are almost impossible to see. There are over 300 species of walking stick insects, and they range in length from a half an inch to an inch as much as 12 inches in length. Most walking sticks are brownish, gray, or green with a striped head. They feed at night on the leaves of the shrubs and trees that give them shelter and sometimes become a pest, especially on oaks. By the way, if imitating a twig doesn't deter a predator or even a human collector, the walking stick can spray an offensive fluid. Other walking sticks protect themselves with spines sharp enough to inflict wounds. The conservation status of walking sticks is near threatened, mostly due to the loss of habitat. Number 9. The Chameleon the name of this lizard is nearly synonymous with animal camouflage as its ability to change the color and patterns of its skin is nearly unrivaled. They are lizards of warm climates and they are found in parts of the Middle East, Southwest Asia, and Southern Europe, Madagascar, nearly all of Africa, and parts of India and Sri Lanka. There are now populations in Hawaii, Florida, and California. They thrive in rainforests as well as deserts. The chameleon not only changes color to escape predators, but to hide from prey, as it is itself an efficient predator. They have eyes like turrets that can move independently of each other, but when focused on the prey, they work together to give the lizard three-dimensional vision. Some species of these lizards are so good at animal camouflage that they can change color according to the vision of their predator. For example, many birds of prey can sense ultraviolet light, and the chameleon will adjust its colors accordingly. The chameleon conservation status is near threatened. Number 8. The Scorpionfish the scorpion fish is not only a master of animal camouflage, but it is one of the most venomous fish in the world. A huge family of 100 to 200 species, they are found all over the world in warm waters, but are most common in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Scorpion fish are about 8 to 12 inches long and weigh a little over 3 pounds. Scorpion fish get their name because of the dangerous stinging spines found on their body, especially in their dorsal fin. The spines are covered with venomous mucus and protect the animals from predators, but their coloring also helps to hide the fish from potential prey. This includes shrimp and crabs. The stonefish is especially adapted at this, for as its name, it resembles a stone lying on the ground of the sea. Because a lot of the scorpion fish live in shallow waters, this makes them something of a hazard for scuba divers and snorkelers. Despite this, people catch scorpion fish because their flesh is good eating. The conservation status of the scorpion fish is not known right now. Number 7. The Nightjar The nightjar is a medium-sized bird that is active at night or at dusk. They have tiny bills, large mouth, and long wings and are found everywhere from New Zealand and some parts of Oceania. Because they have their nests on the ground, their plumage comes in shades of brown, buff, gray, and black, which allows them to blend into the forest floor. Not only this, but during the day, these birds tend to lay along tree branches, instead of sitting on them like birds. This also helps them to hide. Night jars are 10 to 12 inches in length, weigh about a tenth of a pound, and live four years on average. Despite its skill at animal camouflage, some night jar species are critically endangered. This may be because the birds rest on roads and get run over by cars. Number 6. The Crab Spider The crab spider gets its name because it holds its front legs and scuttles much the way a tiny crab would. There are over 2,000 species of Thornicidae crab spider, and they live all over the world. They're also called flower spiders because they sometimes sit on a flower and wait for such prey as a butterfly or a pollinator to come. Then they ambush it. They range in size from about a tenth of an inch to a third of an inch. Some crab species are able to change their color to match the color of the flower they rest on. Not only this, the spider sometimes turns the color of their prey. Other crab spiders mimic tree bark or bird droppings. In some crab spider species, the females are many times larger than the males. Their conservation status is not extinct. Number 5. The Giraffe The giraffe is proof that animal camouflage isn't just enough for animals. Found in several locations in Africa, the giraffe is famously the tallest animal on Earth and can grow from 17 to nearly 19 feet tall, mostly because of its long neck and males are bigger and taller than females. The animal also has a prehensile tongue and upper lip which are good for stripping leaves off of trees. 
Because it's long neck, the giraffe is known for the attractive patches and blotches on its skin. These patches are shades of brown, orange, or black and separated by cream-colored or white pelage, and they serve as very good form of camouflage. Despite its size, a giraffe that is standing absolutely still in the light and shadow of the trees is very hard to see. This may be more important for giraffe calves than the adults, who are big and strong enough to defend themselves against predators such as lions. The conservation status of a giraffe is vulnerable. Number 4. The Leopard Not all large beasts good at camouflage use it to hide from predators. The leopard's only real enemy is its cousin, the lion, and if there are no lions in its territory, the big cat is the apex predator. It is not only found in Africa, but some parts of Middle East and Central Asia, in India, Southeast Asia, and even East Asia. It is a large but lift cat whose fur is famously full of rosettes. These rosettes are what allow the leopard to hide in trees and wait unnoticed for prey. Male leopards are bigger and heavier than females. They're about 23 to 27 inches at the shoulder, while the females are a couple of inches shorter. Males weigh between 82 and 198 pounds, while females weigh between 62 and 132 pounds. The conservation status of the leopard varies depending on where it's found. The javan leopard is considered critically endangered, and some subspecies have been extirpated from their original habitat. Overall, the leopard is considered vulnerable. Number 3. The Arctic Hare This hare is famous for both living in the Arctic and for its pure white fur. This animal camouflage allows it to nearly disappear in the snowy landscape where it lives. It is a big hare that can range from 17 to 20 inches long without counting the length of the tail and can weigh between 6 to 12 pounds. In the most southern part of its range, its fur turns gray or brown during the summer, then turns snowy white in the winter. But in the extreme north, the hare's fur stays white all year round. Its conservation status is least concern. Number 2. The Arctic Fox If there must be an Arctic hare, then there must be an Arctic fox that hunts it. In this case, the animal's white fur camouflages it from its prey as well as its predators. The arctic fox, which is smaller than most other foxes, is eaten by the larger red fox, grizzly bears, wolverines, larger birds of prey, and wolves. There are actually two arctic fox morphs. One has a blue coat and the other has a white coat, and the white-coated arctic fox, like the arctic hare, is gray and brown during the summer. Almost all arctic foxes are the white morph type. The conservation status of the arctic fox is least concern. Number 1. The Long-Eared Owl Like nearly every other species of owl, the long-eared owl comes in shades of brown, black, gray, and buff, the better to let it blend into the woods and where it lives. Even during the daytime, it's hard to see as it rests in the crotch of a tree. Found in North America, Eurasia, Europe, and Asia, this bird augments its animal camouflage with near-silent wing beats. The upshot is the prey nearly sees nor hears the bird coming. The long-eared owl resembles a great horned owl in that it has ear tufts, but is smaller and slimmer. This doesn't mean that it's a small bird. The owl can be 12 to 16 inches long and have a wingspan of up to 3 feet. Its conservation status is least concern, though there are areas where its population is declining. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe. If you have questions or comments, please leave it at the comment section below. See you on the next one.